Hello guys, so before we get into the video, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of context as to what this video is about and why I'm filming it. So today is December 29th, 2022, and I am back on campus nine days after I left. My last final was on December 20th, and then after that I drove home and I was home for those nine days, but now I'm back. And I'm back so early because I'm here for sports. I do gymnastics at Brown. They have us come back early because our season starts early. So our season starts January 15th, so they want us back here as soon as possible so we can train. I'm basically gonna have like a full month at school with no actual school. The anticipation building up to coming back so early was kind of bothering me just because last year this was like the worst semester and months of my life but we're going to do better this year. I already feel much better. I feel like I'm in a much better headspace because I know what to expect. I think the issue I ran into last year was I didn't know what to expect and it just came out so abruptly and I wasn't ready to leave home. All the stuff that I brought in with me that you probably saw at the beginning of the video is all over there and I need to put it all away. So today I'm going to be putting all this stuff away with you guys. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a chit chat catch up type of vlog. It's going to be very laid back and chill just because that's the vibe that I'm going for. The first thing that I think I need to put away from all of this is my frozen food. Also another thing that I forgot to mention in the intro is that the dining halls aren't open just because it's just athletes on campus for these like next 20 something days so we basically have to like feed ourselves through the communal kitchens and places to eat around near campus they do provide us with a stipend to help fund our like food but it definitely gets tricky trying to feed yourself over break we did a trip to Trader Joe's and I got a lot of really good stuff I got these soup dumplings love those I also got this Japanese styled vegetable fried rice this stuff is so good I also got the sandwich Salmon, which I'm planning on air frying one day. I kind of forgot how small my fridge and freezer space is, so I think I'm barely, oh god, and I also need to fit some spring rolls in here. This is kind of problematic. I also got barbecue teriyaki chicken, which is frozen and pre-cooked. This is like very convenient and lazy cooking because I don't quite have the facilities to do any extravagant cooking. And I also don't have the skill set to do any extravagant cooking because I never really have to cook for myself. So, cheers to that. Okay, this is our jam-packed freezer. Let's see if it closes. Very nice. I got all this stuff from Market Basket. Shout out to my mom for sponsoring my trip. Right now, this is the stuff we have in here. Just kind of some drinks that I left from fall semester. A dozen of eggs because I've been on this really intense egg kick for the past like year and a half now. And I honestly hope it keeps going because eggs are so nutritious and they're very, very easy. I also got four Chobani yogurts. These will be great for in the morning or just a little snack. What else? I also got this like mixed package of berries. I love berries and the one thing that I don't get here from the dining halls are berries. I don't know why. I don't know if they're just like more expensive than the school would like to budget for, but they only feed us like watermelon and pineapple and like the melons basically. I also got this pack of baby spinach. Spinach has been my favorite vegetable recently. I'm kind of picky and I don't like that many vegetables, but spinach kind of tastes like nothing to me. So it's kind of like a little loophole. And then the last of the grocery stuff that I got was just some soy sauce and ketchup. And then finally, Oh, there's a hair on that. That's kind of disgusting. Some Nature Valley protein granola for my yogurt. I think the next thing that I want to do is set up my little guy's fish tank because he's probably sick of his cup by now. So this is what we're working with. It doesn't look the best there, but I really don't know where else to put it where I have access to an outlet because I need to be able to plug his little water heater in. The tank is all filled with water and I used this little like beta fix water purifier. Now I need to unpack all of this stuff. I got more toilet paper, some Charmin for my bathroom. I just got these little like to-go containers. I also got saran wrap and I stole the tin foil from my house. I also got paper plates, paper bowls, and plastic eating utensils. I'm not proud of that, but this is only gonna be for a very short period of time. Call me lazy because I, I am. I just got a PR package from this brand named Cora. I didn't even know they were sending it until it was at my doorstep, but in the PR package, they sent me this super cute tote bag and I used it to transport this guy and this heart pillow. I'm gonna go right there. I think I'm gonna have to throw this pillow out or just like not put it on display because as you can see, the pom-poms are kind of in critical condition and they don't look the best, but you know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It, it's still December. 
but you know, heart pillow. So this is my huge bag of like pots, pans, salt, pepper, cleaner, all that stuff. I think for now I'm just gonna like shove it underneath my bed. Here's to another food haul that you guys didn't ask for, but you will receive. We have some homemade fudge from my grandfather. About 12 of these seaweed packets, really good snack. Also goes really great with this microwavable rice that I got from H Mart. I have like 12 packs of these in here too. I also have these, my absolute favorite cheese puffs on this planet, absolutely divine. You guys need to try it if you haven't already. Also got this can of Spam to go with some rice and seaweed and soy sauce one day if I feel like it. Really good, easy snack. I have two cans of this corned beef hash in here too. It's a good breakfast thing. Two packages of these nerds gummy clusters, which are so good. I feel like that's really it. Oh, little Christmas box of Ferro Rochers from my mom. It is 10.56. I feel like I'm doing pretty good for time considering I got to campus at 9.30, but I do in fact have practice tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I need to put a move on. This was one of my Christmas gifts, which I brought back to school with me. I got the Dyson Airwrap from my mom and my dad. I did my hair a few times with it and it comes out so good. I just need to figure out how to get the curls in the hair to stay. It's all my makeup stuff. I don't feel like doing that right now. It's my skincare. Guys, I've been on the most outrageous skincare kick. And unfortunately, but fortunately, skincare makes me very happy. It's very unfortunate for my wallet, but very good for my like person because I just love skincare. I've been on this drunk elephant kick. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul. I have these two products. This thing is incredible. It has really shown a difference in my skin. I've been using it for the past like month or so. This is one of their newer products. I think I've noticed a difference from this, but I don't think I've used it for long enough to really know. My sister also bought me this for Christmas. This stuff is incredible. It's based. Oh, it's basically like this stuff, but in a face mask form. I also got this stuff, so incredible. The first face oil that has not dried greasy on my skin. I also have the classic Proteiny Polypeptide Cream that everybody and their mom has along with the sunshine drops that once again, everyone and their mom has. That was my drunk elephant haul, hope you guys enjoyed. This bag is filled with makeup that I took home, so I'm just gonna be putting it back into its little plastic organizer and I'm gonna be catching up with y'all. Long time no see, guys. I know it's been a very long time since I have uploaded a video, but do not worry, I've not forgotten about you guys. I do actually have two videos that I have pre-filmed right now that I'm going to be editing after this one is uploaded. And those are two really good ones. It's a cooking video with my grandfather that I filmed before I even left for my fall semester. This past year, I just never got around to editing it. And also a sophomore in high school versus a sophomore in college day in the life with my sister. So those two videos will be coming very soon. Thankfully, during winter session, I don't really have much school to worry about while I'm on campus. So I do have a lot more free time than I typically would. Also, I finished my third semester at Brown and it was a very successful semester. I'm very proud of myself. I really, really, really put the work into the semester and worked on fixing things that I wanted to fix from my previous semesters and it really paid off. I ended the semester with three A's and an S, which stands for satisfactory. I decided to take one of my classes, S and C, which stands for satisfactory, no credit, which is an option here at Brown, which is basically taking it pass fail. So the only distinction between an S and an NC is passing the class or not passing the class, which takes a lot of pressure off. I was considering and kind of expecting myself to crank out a bunch of videos while I had my nine day winter break at home. But once I was like really in it, I decided I wanted to spend that time strictly for family and just to relax because it had been such a crazy semester. I feel so recharged and in such a good mental headspace. All my stuff is back in its little plastic organizer. That was a good little chit chat sesh. I feel like I'm still missing so much stuff that I need to fill you guys in on, but I guess I'll just mention it as it comes to mind. Mind. Up next, these two bags. This is one of my Christmas gifts. These beauties. These are the Tasman Ugg slippers. They are so gorgeous. I didn't really put much in this backpack besides my slippers and my hydro. Good water. I also just recently invested in It Ends With Us. My sister already read this book and I mean, I've seen this book everywhere because everyone raves about it. So I thought I'd finally give it a try. I'm not that far in, I'm only to chapter five right now, but it's pretty good so far. I feel like I'm just like months late to all of these trends just because I didn't have time to hop onto any of them when I was at college. So I'm kind of like making up for lost time right now, which I don't mind because I'm having a great time. I also got, I feel like I bought a lot of things over break, but that's what I mean. I feel like. I'm 
I'm making up for lost time. I bought a hard drive. I think that's what it's called. It's basically a terabyte of storage where I can keep all of my blog footage on so I don't have to store it all on my hard drive on my computer because that will seriously slow my computer down and it has been. So I finally took the time to invest in one of these bad boys. Have not touched these things in over a week, which has felt fantastic because although I love YouTube and I do love school to some extent, it was very nice being able to unplug and detach from my work life. Also, I need to start using this more. This is the Canon PowerShot ELF 180. I bought it on this like thrift website. I told myself I was gonna use it a bunch. Have not been holding to that. I also got this bad boy. Lots of stuff in here. First of all, we have this container of Rice Krispie Treats, which is for my boyfriend, Andrew, because he's obsessed with homemade Rice Krispie Treats. So I thought I'd make him a batch for Christmas. These are all my vitamins. And then just a bunch of clothes that I have to put away that I really don't wanna put away at all. This is also filled with clothes and other stuff. I really regret packing so much. I brought my suitcase back to school this time because I'm gonna need it for when we travel to Oregon. Okay, I did it. All of my clothes are put away. I changed into some PJs. Fit check, oh yeah, mm. It is 11.45 p.m. Did pretty good for time. I was just watching an Emma Chamberlain YouTube video while I was doing that. Anyways, I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine and I thought I would share it with you just because of my newfound skincare obsession. Well, it's not new. It's just kind of like a revolving door where I become overly obsessed with skincare every like three-ish years and it's a pretty relentless cycle on my wallet. Anyways, um, I'm looking at my face with this Curology facial cleanser because I don't know where my panoxyl is. I'm starting to think I brought it home and I left it at home. Whoa, their cleanser is different. It used to be like a clear gel almost. I'm not sure, but now it looks like it's more like cream based. So I just brushed my teeth, arguably the most boring part of my nighttime routine, but I did it. Now onto the fun stuff. Skincare. The thing that I love about Drunk Elephant is how lightweight and clean their products dry on your face. I hate products that are super heavy, oily, greasy on your face. Biggest pet peeve about skincare. I also love how you can like mix and match products and apply them all at once instead of having to do a multi-layer skincare routine. By the way, I'm going in with a pump of this, pump of this. My skin feels kind of dry right now, so I think I'm gonna go in with a pump of this. This. For lips, I just use my trusty Aquaphor tub, which I've had for years now. Still have yet to make a solid dent in. I feel like I'm gonna have this till I get married. Finally, I'm gonna go over my lashes with this Babe Lash Serum. I've been using this for the past like three months consistently. There's still product left and it has made the biggest difference on my eyelashes. I actually feel like I have eyelashes now. I'll insert like before and after pictures here. Hello friends. The lighting's kind of weird because I have the LEDs on, but just as a little time check, it is 12.03. You can't see that, but take my word for it. 12.03 AM and I feel like I was very productive with the time that I had. I feel like vlogging is kind of like my safe space during this whole like winter session thing. You guys keep me company. It gives me something to do and I enjoy it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all of the love and support and I'll be sure to see you on the next one. Bye guys. It's 7.39 and I'm up to get ready for practice today. I was not planning on filming this morning, but I think I just want to talk. Good morning. I'm exhausted. I was really okay up until I went to try to fall asleep. Like I felt like I was fine. But then when I went to try to fall asleep, I just started getting so anxious about, well, I'm not 100% sure what I was anxious about, but I think I'm gonna try to talk it out this morning. In theory, I probably should have taken melatonin. That might've helped my case, but I was just like up last night and my heart was racing and I was crying because I cry under many different circumstances. Stress, anger, anxiety, sadness. This is gonna sound so stupid, but I think I was anxious about being anxious. Just to give you guys a little bit more context, I don't know if I really highlighted this that much last year. I was not in my prime last year at this time. When I came back to college last year for a winter session, like I did this time, I had the worst anxiety of my life and it was genuinely so terrible. I hated it. I would never want it to happen again. And I think last night I was just so scared of feeling that way again that it was making me anxious. So I was anxious about being anxious. I didn't fall asleep until like 1.32. And then my body just naturally woke up at like 
6 a.m. That was kind of irritating because I honestly just wanted to sleep and I wanted to sleep through the night. It's okay. I always feel better when I like get up and like see people. So I think the fact that we have morning practice today is going to help me a lot because I'm literally going to be with people in a few hours from now. It's weird. Sometimes when I'm anxious, I just want to be alone. But other times when I'm anxious, being around other people like grounds me. I don't really understand myself. My anxiety from winter session last year carried into my like full second semester and even a little bit into my summer. And it was like really affecting my life because that's like the worst my anxiety has ever been before. I just really like did not feel like myself at all, but it's whatever.